me it's 218 or bust. Like it is go until you explode, not just, yeah, I came close. Like close means nothing to me. It's 100% pass fail. My name is Matt Hansen and I am a professional triathlete and coach. I had the plan of being a college professor. So while I was working as an athletic trainer, I was finishing up my master's and doctorate. Then I shifted over to more time in the classroom and, and was on the tenure track teaching at a, at a small college in Iowa. And then uh, sport kind of happened and I won a few major events and decided that I needed to be able to look back at the end of the journey and, and know rather than look back and wonder what if, and so decided to uh, chase a world championship. My first full pro year was 2014. I was able to win an Ironman my rookie year. I think I've been able to tally 12 professional wins with most recently, I just had my fastest run ever at, at uh, Ironman Florida going 234 low. I've been asked a lot what I can do an open marathon in, and the honest answer is I don't know. I have always said if I was going to do it, I want to really do it the right way and spend a, a proper amount of time prepping for an event. But with uh, you know, just the way the year has gone, it just wasn't the season that I had hoped for on the triathlon side of things. So the Olympic trials are in February for the marathon. And I was just talking with coach about a fun way to end the year and the races in December, the last chance qualifiers to be able to qualify for the Olympic trials. And so that was the sole motivating factor behind me signing up for this marathon was just to see if I can get it. I came to the lab here in Minnesota to do some testing, one to uh, come down to sea level or a little bit closer to sea level rather than testing in Colorado. And you know, you have to prepare for the demands of the course and you know, being able to test at this uh, elevation is definitely a part of that. I've been a partner of Human Go and they are closely connected with human power and health. And so that's how I first got introduced to the lab here. In the preparation for, for this trip, we were able to have a few meetings with the, the team at Human Powered Health. And it was me telling them, this is what I want to accomplish. And they sent back a protocol right away. And I'm looking at it like, yeah, this is exactly the protocol that I would have wrote up on my own. So it instills the trust that you want with, with the people running these tests for you. Obviously, it's given me a lot of valuable information, but it's also going to give me a lot of the confidence that I'm doing everything right. And then elastic exchange, which is going to be a percent of economy, your running profile, and then your stride parameters. So it's taking all those, those pieces together and giving you a percent. Excellent is above 35, which we're at almost 46. What we're trying to accomplish this weekend is to really figure out respiratory exchange ratio, um, which helps you figure out how many carbohydrates you're burning per hour. And you know, carbs are always the limiting factor. Uh, endurance events at a high pace are always managed bankruptcy. You're gonna go bankrupt at some point, you just want it to be at the finish line. And so we'll be able to really try to dial in what I need to do on race day. Remember, you just go until you can't go no more. You yep. determine when this one stops. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. I think they seem to think that there's a there's a chance that this is possible based on how the numbers came out. So that's always encouraging. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to thread the needle. Obviously, I'm going to have to fuel properly. We're going to come out of today with a pretty good plan. And then I'll have three chances to, to dial the plan in a little bit more in training back home. And you know, like I kind of said earlier, you know, going through all these steps, you can kind of give you the confidence that you need to draw on when things get tough and you start to have those questions and that doubt maybe creeps in it, it kind of draw on you know doing everything right and uh, knowing that you have the numbers behind you you just got to execute. I say 218 or bust because that's the way that I want to approach the race from a strategy standpoint. It's running 514, 515 per mile 
until I can't hold it anymore. And that's the way that I want to approach it mentally. And you've got to be willing to hurt. Uh, you've got to be willing to go to a pretty dark place. If you get 100% of your goals, you're afraid to set good goals because they should be hard and they should push you and they should make you uncomfortable. And that's what this is for me. Physically, I know I'm capable of it if I have full time for the build, but I haven't done that. And so it's really going to be uh, how bad that I want.